Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. And in this really quick video, I'm gonna show you the brand new paywalls feature in Circle. This is really a game changing feature that lots of folks have been asking for for quite some time. It's still in beta. I probably shouldn't be recording this. I don't know if they are against sharing what this looks like, but I think it's pretty close to being a public release. And I just got access to it. Uh, yesterday, I'm recording this on the 3rd, maybe, of September. Uh, so I think they uh, opened the beta access to me anyway yesterday. Other people have had access to it, you know, a week ago or 10 days ago or whatever. All right, so I haven't yet done it. So this is kind of my uh, preferred approach to doing these videos, to showing you in a live and extemporaneous, transparent way what all this stuff looks like in real time. So let's go to paywalls. This is the, uh, you know, the, the navigational link that you have to use to actually set this up. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, I have no paywalls yet, and I'm going to be creating a new one here. Again, I don't really uh, know exactly what this process looks like. So you're going to see this with me in real time. The only thing that I've done was uh, connect my Stripe account to uh, Circle. So this allows my payments to go directly into my Stripe account. Uh, so that's the only step that I've taken. And it's really important to note that when you set up paywalls in Circle and you're connecting with your Stripe account, they actually, Stripe, requires you to set up what appears to be a whole new account, uh, which was kind of confusing to me. And, and I, I sort of stopped, like I abandoned the process because it looked like Stripe was creating a whole new Stripe account, which I didn't want to do just to set up paywalls and circle. Uh, but I went and checked the circle community, actually the beta space where folks were discussing this new feature. And I learned that this is actually a new process on Stripe side that pretty much uh, applies to all communities that you are setting up with a Stripe integration. So it's not a circle issue. It's kind of a new thing with Stripe. So expect that if you're watching this and setting up your uh, Stripe payment uh, you know, account with Circle, you're going to have to create what appears to be a new Stripe account. It really turns out not to be, and it reverts back to your base sort of account when you complete the integration. All right, so let's go to new paywall. And let's see, paywalls allow you to charge for your community via subscriptions or one-time payments, uh, display name, <clears throat> a non-COVID cough right there. All right, so I'm going to call this uh, mindfulness courses. Check out the description. Example, become a member to the lock community. Blah, blah, blah. Get access to our mindfulness micro courses and discuss your practice with our community. All right, internal name, I'm going to call this delete me because I'm going to delete this later. I'm just doing this for uh, illustration or demonstration purposes. Add up to six different pricing options for this paywall. I like that. It gives you a lot of flexibility. Example, a monthly and annual. Oh, I like it. annual quarterly event. I like actually one-time fee or daily even. This is really flexible. I really like this. So you can actually charge a one-time fee for access to something or you could like a one-day thing or maybe a download or daily would be more appropriate for a one-day thing or weekly, etc. Just very flexible. I really like this. All right, so I'm going to call this a uh, one-time fee and we'll call this $10.00. Unlock all spaces. No, I don't want to unlock all the spaces. Select which spaces should get, should get access to this paywall. So we're going to call, call this experiments and awareness. That's the space they're getting access to. Again, I'm not going to give them access to everything. It's a one-time fee for, let's say, a download. All right. Actually, I'm going to change this. It's a little confusing. Let's say it's 
daily. So for one day, they get access to this space where I'll have lots of downloads, let's say. Thank you page post-purchase of enabled members will be redirected to a thank you page. And I like this, and what I generally do here is I would add a thank you page that allows me to move folks off of circle, let's say, to tell them a little bit about what to expect, maybe an audio, maybe a video that might be off of the circle platform, and I'd send them somewhere else, let's say to our, um, you know, our a landing page on our, our blog or on some other, you know, landing page where I can be a little bit more, um, I'm saying this badly, I can communicate some more salient facts in a, um, you know, in a, in a different format or aesthetic than just the circle community. But I am going to skip that for here. And we're just going to keep them on circle. once they're done. All right, I'm going to publish this. And now I have this paywall created. I'm going to copy this to clipboard. And let's see if I can show you visually what it looks like. Yeah, I'm going through this for the first time. So there you have it. This is the paywall page, the checkout page. Payment options are not available. I'm not sure why it says that. Get access to our mindful. So this is the description here. I'd probably want to add more stuff here. Here's me. Here's my email address. Here's where I would. Oh, OK, I see. Payment options are not available because it's a draft paywall. It's not yet published. All right, so I didn't publish this yet. It's just set to draft. All right, and there's I would put in my credit card number and um, or the customer client student subscriber would and they would have access to the space that I just set here which is the experiments in awareness space